Alright, and I'm back in another Terra Firmacraft world. We're going to do a tutorial for you today on the use of sluices. Now, there are two different ways to do sluices. I'm going to show both ways here. Once you get access to red steel, you can make sluices pretty much anywhere you want because then you can transport source blocks. But until then, we are kind of stuck having to work with the natural terrain a little bit. You can tell I kind of squared this out, but you can't transport water until you have red steel. So, you may as well get used to it. Hello, Mr. Pig. So, the first way to make sluices is to find a nice square set of land here, touching the water, um, and then just start digging in. And what you want to do is you want to dig in until the water does not wash over the square. Then you want to go like that. Then you want to take these down, one more. You want to take this one down, two more. Now, this is going to be a frequent problem for you if you're trying to do it this way. And it is indeed possible to break this rock with your, fan with your bare hands. It takes absolutely forever, but you can do it. So if you're setting up a sluice and you know this is where you want your sluice to be and you run across rock, don't sweat it too much, as long as you're willing to sit here and punch away at the rock for a minute or two with your bare hands, you can make it work. So we're just going to take this rock out here just to show you it does work. I know if you punch trees with your bare hands, the tree respawns. I'm just doing this to demonstrate that rock does not. Also to give you a feel of how long it takes kind of got a balance of whether you want to do it against whether how long it's going to take. So, the actual recipe for a sluice requires you to have planks, not the square planks that you build with, but these planks, and sticks. That gives you a sluice. We're going to go ahead and make a second one because we're going to need a second one in a minute or two here. And then you take your sluice, and facing the direction the water is flowing, you want to click on the first block after it ends. And there's your sluice. You can tell it's working, because the water's flowing over it. If this block here is blocked in, you'll see the water isn't flowing over it. You have to have this block down here, or it won't work. Now, you can chain them off the end of each other. Like, you could have this source block going off this way now and leading to another sluice and then have that one going out. But honestly, it's usually just easiest to set them up in parallel. So you can... do it like this, and I'm not going to break that because you get the idea. And then you just keep going like this. get the idea. Oh, there's lava down there. But yeah, you get the idea. The second way, and let's go ahead and make it morning. Let's give ourselves some planks. And we're going to take these ugly purple planks. I usually use planks because it's easier to get and planks don't fall. The second way is if you don't have a nice open space of flat land here. And you don't necessarily have to do it this way. You can also build out into the water, but digging in generally makes it a little easier for me, I think. So that's what I usually do. The second way involves if you don't have access to a nice shallow area, you can actually build a sluice over a deep space by using wood. What you want to do is you want to have a platform one square underneath the water. And the platform needs to be... Come on. Fairly large. So, if you can do it the first way, that's definitely recommended. I'm just showing this as a second way that will work. Then, you come through here and you fill this in.
and then you start digging out the middle. And you can see that gives you your water flow that you need. Then you come over here, and you knock out that, knock out that, knock out that, and dig that. And then you can put your sluice right here. And it works. So if you are stranded somewhere, if you're stranded out in the middle of the ocean on an island and you want to make it work, but you don't, all you have is deep water around you and you don't want to dig into your island, you can actually build out from your island using dirt. Now you can also pillar up with the dirt from the bottom of the ocean and just build an extension to the island, but if you use wood then, or if you use like smooth stone or brick or something like that, you can actually make this work without having to, let me fly out here, you can actually make this work without having to cut into your available land. Now that is one thing to note, you saw me fall in there and I couldn't get out. If you fall into the sluice, you can't jump back up the sluice to crawl up it unless you have like smart moving or something. So try not to fall into your sluices. As to how sluices actually work, let's go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of gravel here. Sluices eat gravel. Each piece of gravel that you throw into a sluice, you do not have to use gold pans. You can throw raw gravel into it. Each one that you throw in is going to add 20 to the soil counter. It can hold up to 50, and then it's just going to slowly process it on its own. If you throw gravel in, you're going to get a higher chance of ore out of this. If you throw sand in, you'll get a higher chance of gems. You can see I had some cassiterite that I tagged out there. It's about 50 meters away. The approximate range on a sluice is somewhere around 100 meters in each direction. So if you find a deposit of ore that you want to start harvesting, throwing, or throwing a sluice down somewhere within 100 meters of it might get you more of that ore. Let's go ahead and chuck a couple more pieces of gravel in here and get that going. Now. Doing sluices this way also has an extra added benefit. You can get yourself a hoe. You can till this land. Maybe. Is that a vanilla hoe? Must be. Ah, oh, that's a vanilla diamond hoe. That ain't gonna work. Gotta have... Let's give ourselves the bismuth bronze hoe. There we go. can till this land here. And then you can farm on it. So it kind of makes your sluices dual purpose. It turns it into your farming land and it also gives you a place to possibly gather some more. So in the early game I wouldn't devote too many resources to setting up a gigantic huge sluice network. Yes it can get you ore but it only gets you small pieces. You are always going to get more ore out of actually going out and looking for it and mining than you're ever going to get from a sluice system. You can have a sluice system of 40 sluices set up, and yeah, you'll get a fair amount of ore from that. But one good deposit out in the wild somewhere is going to give you a, a couple dozen stacks of ore. And as you can see, this is kind of slow anyway. So there's a third way and a fourth way to set up sluices, but I'm not going to cover those because the third way requires you to advance way too far. The fourth way requires you to find a mountain stream. Um, if, you, if you find a mountain stream, you can actually build a cascading... Uh, what do you call it? A cascading sluice down from that. The next Terra Firmacraft series, if I happen to find a mountain stream, I might do it just for the sake of doing it. If I happen to find one while I'm dinking around in a single player world, I might do a short video on it just to show how you do it, but I'm not going to cover it here because there's no mountain streams within an easy reach and they're kind of rare. Um, the other way requires you to be able to transport source blocks of water, which requires you to have red steel. By the time you got red steel, you ain't messing around with sluices anymore, so it's kind of pointless. 
Oh, hey, look, we got a chip Jasper. But, yep, don't let the terrain and the ease of doing something limit you. As long as you have some materials and a little bit of know-how, it's easy to set up anything pretty much anywhere. So, two different ways of setting up sluices. A couple other ways if you feel like putting in the effort, but... Yeah, it's not terribly hard. The hardest part about setting up a sluice is dealing with the frustration when you dig down and you see something like that, and you haven't got a pickaxe already. It's like, ah, I don't want to do this. Of course, you could always just go down here and see that there and go, okay, well, let's dig off this way instead. But then what if you hit stone there? Point is, if you hit stone and you know it's a good place to set up a sluice, don't abandon hope, just punch out the graph. Just punch out the rock. You'll get enough material from the sluice that you'll be able to make yourself a pickaxe soon enough. Besides, real men break stones with their bare hands. I've rambled on long enough. This is Night Dagger with How to Make a Sluice in Terra Firmacraft. Hope you guys learned something today. Catch you next time.